If you have the Ronin SC, you might already have DJI's photo focus for it, or you're thinking about buying one. But if you're unhappy with the way it works, or you're not sure if DJI's option is right for you, I might have a solution. This is the Nucleus Nano. You can see my full review of it right here. Now, this thing is made for handheld gimbals, but not normally seen on the Ronin SC, and I don't know why, because it's pretty sick, and definitely my new favorite way to use this gimbal. So let's get it on there so I can show you what it looks like. Firstly, I don't think there are any videos on YouTube that show this setup properly, so here it is. Total Nucleus Nano, working on the Ronin SC. This is the most basic setup. I have the focus wheel mounted on the side and I'm using the USB-C cable and a little micro USB adapter to power the focus motor. It's essentially the same thing you'll get with DJI's photo focus, but it does fix a few issues I have with it. And by the way, I did a full review of the DJI photo focus system already, you can check that out after you watch this video so you can compare and see what works best for you. So here you get a larger grip with a bit more functionality, mainly calibrating a lens without hard stops. Also, you can take this thing off and give it to someone else to pull focus or mount it somewhere more convenient. This little quick release for the focus wheel was made with the Ronin S in mind, so it fits perfectly on the side here. But you win some, you lose some. This wheel can't be powered by the gimbal, so you have an extra battery to worry about. And because I'm using the only USB-C port on the gimbal to power the motor, I lose all camera control. This is completely unacceptable, but there are a couple solutions. The first one is this cable from Tilter, which goes from the motor to your camera and lets you start and stop from the hand wheel. The record button lights up, and the whole wheel vibrates when you press it, so you always know if you've actually hit record. Though the light on this thing is not very bright, so unless you look at this tiny little screen, or obviously your camera monitor, it won't help you in those times when you think you've hit record to start rolling, but you actually stopped, and the other way around. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had that happen to you. I know I have. This solution is great, but you don't get any Ronin app control, and I prefer to start and stop from the gimbal, so let me show you how to get that back. For this to work, I'm using the RSS splitter from DJI, which takes a single USB port on the Ronin SC and essentially splits it into two, giving you camera control and the way to power the motor. You get it when you buy the Ronin SC motor, but you can also buy it separately. Because it's from DJI, it's made for their motor, which has a USB Type-C. But the Nucleus Nano motor is still rocking at a micro USB, so we need an adapter. DJI include one in the box with the SC, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work to power the Nucleus Nano motor, so you need to get a different one to get it working. And as always, I will link this and any other piece of kit I talk about in the description down below. So now with everything plugged in, the motor is powered by the gimbal, and I have start and stop control from the handle and the DJI app. So we're almost there, but there's one more thing. For me, the focus wheel where it is at the moment is just still not perfect. But the great thing about the Nano is you can put it wherever you want. So let me get that rigged up and I'll show you my favorite setup. So this is it, the ultimate Nucleus Nano and Ronin SC setup. Now, obviously you might also want a handle and a monitor on here, but this is not what this video is about. I know, this is far from the simple side wheel from DJI, and it's definitely heavier, but the flexibility you get is 100% worth it. I can't wait to get this thing on a shoot to get the most out of this setup. So here's the basic rundown. I have a NATO mount on the side, then a friction arm from small rig, a little ball head, and then a quick release mount for the Nucleus Nano from small rig. And I know this might seem a little bit over the top, but it lets me position the focus wheel exactly where I want it. And because I'm using this friction arm instead of a cheaper magic arm, I can adjust it so it's loose enough for me to move, but firm enough that it stays in place wherever I put it. So generally I'd have it around here. When I pick it up, that lets me hold the gimbal with both hands and control the focus with my thumb, which is not something you can do with DJI's focus wheel. If I'm shooting underslung, I can maybe move it here to have good access to the focus wheel, and maybe here if I'm shooting high up. And there are countless possibilities because you can take this thing off and put it on a monopod, use the gimbal one-handed, or take the wheel off and mount it to your chest if that's your thing. Point is, there are a lot of possibilities here. Just watch out when you're adjusting it that you don't hit any of the buttons on the focus wheel because you can't lock any of them and you might actually hit something that you don't want to. In the end though, there is no ultimate setup. 
It's all about your needs and preferences. DJI's photo focus is smaller, lighter, cheaper, more portable, and easier to set up, but you lose out on a lot of flexibility. The Nucleus Nano gives you that flexibility back, but it's heavier and you'll spend longer setting it up. So what do you think? Will you be going with DJI or with Tilter? Or maybe you have a completely different setup in mind. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd really like to know. If you're still not sure, you can watch my in-depth reviews of both of these and hopefully that will help. I'll leave links in the description. Right, so that's everything. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and get subscribed. Blah, blah, blah. And get subscribed if, uh, if you want to see more content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see what else I'm up to. Cool. That's everything. See you in the next video.